Okay, this is a, a short video um, of my 450 camera drone. It's about the fourth or fifth flight and I'm still in the process of tuning it. And uh, what I'm doing here in fact is messing with the camera controls, uh, trying to figure out how to do slow pans, maybe even a, a pan on, on a fixed target as I descend or ascend. Uh, here I'm using the, uh, the, the fine adjust pot that I've got on the TX that lets me do um, a whole variety of yaws relatively smoothly and in fact I'm doing one pretty much facing straight down. Uh, here I decide to stop the yaw and then walk into the frame even though the camera is 80 degrees facing straight down. And the idea here is I wanted to see how easy it was to center something that was almost directly under the, the drone. So what I'm doing is looking at my OSD feed and uh, adjusting uh, the, the vertical pitch control of the camera so I can stay in the shot. And then I'm going to move out of the frame and start again and then recenter myself in the frame just to get an idea of how easy that is to do. And it turns out it's a lot harder to do because I have a plus or minus 80 degree range on the camera tilt, which means it is exceedingly um, uh, jumpy, particularly near the edges of the travel which is as at 80 degrees. There you can see um, that I managed to get myself centered. Now I'm going to put it back into a horizontal again and uh, mess with the tilt control on the camera. And here you can see that the tilt control, which is really quite silly, I'm not quite sure you'd ever want to do this. And the, the, the level of the, the gimbal um, from its uh, accelerometer is already so good, I think it, uh, I'll, I'll probably turn off gimbal tilt and use the camera for some other, other mode of the control system. Here I am looking at trying to frame the house and use it as the target. And again, I, I, that jumping is in fact uh, uh, near near this particular position. The pot seems to be. Uh, I'm just using a flappy paddle on the side of a Tyrannis uh, 9XD, and uh, and it's a bit coarse. So what's going on here? I'm kind of trying to figure out what's going on. Now I'm going to uh, figure out how to get it to do a climb out of position hold. And I, I had on the OSD the throttle position from the stick and the throttle being driven uh, by INAV. And what I found was it hovers at around uh, 60%. But to get it to climb, I have to push the throttle above 70%. And to get it to descend, I have to pull it back to below 50%. So the guard band is about 20% on the stick. It's pretty, pretty wide. And I know I can reduce that de dead band. Um, but uh, if you reduce it too much, there's a tendency to not be smooth about making it start to climb more descent. But for camera work, it's kind of nice to be able to just gently push the stick over through that 70% point, and then it starts to climb at one or two feet per second. Here, I'm not interested in zooming up. Um, again, uh, going to have to fix that uh, camera pitch control to make it a little more, more smooth. Here I am at about 50 feet. Um, a little bit too much jello in the picture. I've got some, some serious work here to do to find out what's causing that. The gimbal's kind of nicely um, sprung on the uh, rubber balls. But, uh, I've got a resin in the frame or something right about the prop RPM. And I'm not quite sure how to fix that. Um, I've got the knot filter set right on the prop RPM so, and it did reduce the jello but didn't get rid of it. So I've obviously got some real mechanical problems. Here again I'm doing a much faster yaw using the 10% uh, the, the mix I've got from a part on the Tyrannus. Um, here again I'm now up to about 90 or so feet and again just practicing framing the house in the video um, while leaving everything in position hold at this point of view. Very shortly, I think I start a descent and uh, see how stable things are in general. Here we are coming down at about two feet per second. And again, I was just watching the, the throttle percentage and dropping it below 50, brought it down to about 47%. And at that point, it uh, begins to descend at a couple of feet per second. I will practice doing this uh, much faster on both the climb and the descent um, on another flight. 
just a piece of information here I'm using uh, 4000 milliamp hour uh, 3S batteries and the quad flies for almost exactly 15 minutes on a full charge on that battery so I'm hoping to get something close to 20 plus from uh, 520 so um, there we are coming down again practicing positioning to get to the, to the house in the frame move the stick the wrong way there we go again that's going to take a, a fair amount of practice but uh, I'm going to have to get the, uh, the the sensitivity and rates of all this so that it makes it uh, easy. I brought the drone down here to about 9 feet, put it back in position, hold again at 9 feet. Um, and here I decided I'd do a re return to home, it's right near the end of the flight, it was coming up to like 14 minutes, something like that. So I uh, put it into uh, switched off position, hold, flew it by the sticks. And I'm just uh, flying across the, the, the lawn at about uh, 9 or 10 feet. There are my famous drone-eating trees. And uh, then I went into return to home somewhere about here, and you can see the behavior. Uh, notice it doesn't, doesn't show the, the various behaviors because the gimbal took care of the, the drone motion. It comes all the way back, 3 meters a second, I think, is the rate gets over the takeoff point, turns around and does a pretty nice smooth descent. Slows down the last couple of meters and pops itself on the ground. There you have it.